at Hop Dogma, we really uh, we started with one goal and one one you know kind of major idea, and it was just that we wanted every batch to be better than the last one, constantly improving, um, bring better beer you know better and better beer to the to the coast uh, and become better brewers you know in the process. And I think we've done that. I mean, we we've brewed over 80 beers in our first year and a half here. Um, we've done just about every style that I can think of, and uh, it's uh, it's been uh, you know kind of a wild journey. But I think we have quietly built up um, you know something uh, very special. The beer we've created, the friendships, the community that we've built here. I think uh, Hop Dog has become much more than a brewery. I think it's you know it's become a a town center it's yeah. uh, something that this community needed and uh, uh, it's it's a really special thing to be a part of I think what grounded us in starting this was that Dan and I opened this place based on friendship and music and beer and those are the same things that are reflected here all the time on a weekly basis when the locals come in and the visitors come in and they see the uh, culture that has been developed here as we first started um, a lot of people would come in and they would see the, they would expect the same beers to be on the menu and that would change. And that's something Dan and I have embraced as we've grown this place and in the future we'll still want to embrace is that um, although we have some flagship beers we want to keep on the menu, um, it's also fun to come in and try different beers as well. And I think uh, in the craft beer industry now that's becoming uh, very popular. <laughs> recently brewed a, a wet hop beer as the season for wet hops and it was uh, it was called we all grin for lupulin which lupulins you know one of the the, the main a, uh, you know aspects of the hop that you know provides the flavor and the, the aroma and uh, it was a real favorite it was a big hit we're making a beer today that although it's not a wet hop beer it's uh, very much based off of that recipe um, it you know uses citra equinox uh, magnum we're really excited about this this beer um, because the last one just came out pretty much one of the better IPAs I think we've done and, and people keep asking about it so we're yeah the locals like the fan favorite <laughs> a lot of the ingredients we get um, as far as uh, hops we source kind of where we can right now being a smaller brewery our recipes change a lot and that's also due to uh, availability of ingredients so that makes it fun too at first it was a little stressful but now it's we've we've definitely incorporated that model into what we do so um, and then for the grain you know we definitely have our base malt and the pilsner in the two row but we also um, use a variety of specialty malt we love our raw or two row um, we use that in a, in a ton of beers uh, but it's a very highly modified malt and so uh, we're mixing uh, our, our base malt here is about 50 percent raw or about 50 percent belgian uh, um, uh, pilsner and the, you know, the Pilsner just adds uh, an element of complexity to it that we like. And uh, yeah, some uh, Patagonia caramel uh, malt in there. There's uh, a little bit of carafoam and some wheat for head retention. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of dextrose, which is you know, corn sugar late in the boil here to, um, to kind of uh, assist in drying the beer out a little bit. Uh, it was, you know, mashed fairly light, you know, f fairly low temperature, so that we can get achieve that dryness that we like in a beer. It, you know, we're it's pretty much weekly that we're brewing an IPA because you have to have one lined up for you know the week after and the week after that and the week after that. I mean, it's just people can't they can't have enough IPA, and I, I can't blame them. We work really hard on our IPAs, but we're we're really stoked on our our stouts and our pilsner and our. Our amber, even we're cranking out lots of good beers here, and so we hope that you can, you know, get down here to to enjoy one with us. We've got a really good thing out here. If you're interested, uh, go to hopdogma.com. You can see our our full hours. We have food trucks. We have all kinds of good stuff out here. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, which is probably your best bet for getting the most up to date things, yeah. information about new beers. Uh, events that we're taking part in. Um, so I encourage you to like us on Facebook. And come for the beer because that's what we make and yeah. we like it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.